Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to be making a tissue box that can be used with toilet paper rolls. This is a request from a family member. Start the process out here with some old scrap wood that I have, just some scrap pine. I'm just gluing some pieces together here and clamping them. This is some base stock. You can see the nail holes in it from whatever it was used for before. Now taking the pieces over to the table saw, I'm squaring up one end, measuring and cutting all the pieces to length. And sneak up on those cuts there to make sure you cut just the line off. Now on the same similar operation, I'm making some rabbits on the edge of two pieces so that the opposing pieces can mate in there and give it a little bit more strength with some glue and nails. Let's repeat that rabbit on those two faces. Now I can glue it up together. You see how those rabbits come into play? They get glue on them, and then those opposing faces that don't have rabbits have a place to nest in new with some nails. Now I'm cutting the bottom piece here. I'm just putting some rough marks on so I know where to cut to and as usual I will sneak up on the cut so I have a nice tight fit after that piece is inset into the box. And back over at the table saw with the cross cut sled to make that operation. Now jumping ahead a little bit to the top piece I'm cutting these small square cutoffs here that I will use as an inset top. And you'll see what I mean here shortly. But I'm just cutting four, four of these little square rectangular pieces here. And I'm marking so I can put them on the inside of the top there. And the idea is they don't connect to the box itself. They connect to the lid. So it allows the lid to have some rigidity and it locks it into place when you place the lid on. So I cut those pieces tight enough where I can just slot them in. And friction's all that's holding them together now, and then I'll come back in with some glue to tack them together. I'm just using super glue to glue it into place, and then I can come back and reinforce it after, but this just gives it in the position that I want and make sure that it's square to the box. So that's all that's being held with is friction and a little bit of glue, and I'll let it sit for a little bit and then I'm able to come back and remove it. So now hopefully that lid is attached just to that little piece there. And coming back a day later, taking it off very carefully, it is, it worked. So I come through, and this is where the rest of the strength comes in. I'll put a bunch of pin nails in to attach it to the little lid so it'll be permanently affixed. Now that acts as a little retention system to lock that lid in place. I'm going to fill these nail holes from before, as you saw, just with some plastic wood. Put it on very thick and then you can come through and sand it off later and it leaves a perfect finish. If you're painting you'll never notice, which in this case thankfully I am. Here I'm showing a 3D printed part, it's a toilet paper roll holder. I just got off of Thingiverse. I can link that in the description. And I'm marking holes so I can screw it to the top of the box. And you can see the this is the beginning of the mechanism of how this will work. And I have to cut a slot for the toilet paper to come through the top, which I'll work on here. So I start by just roughing out where I want it and then coming in with a Forstner bit. And then flipping it over, I can finish those cuts. I just wanted those couple on there to establish my line. And then I'll come back through with an inch and a half chisel and chisel right to my line, knocking out all that waste. Off camera, I do a little bit of sanding to get rid of those rough edges. I'm going to do a couple coats of just plain white paint here, just to keep it simple. 
I show one coat on camera, but in between I sand and do a few coats. And that's it. This is a pretty simple project, and I hope that the receiver likes it. Thank you all for watching, as always. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe, and don't forget to tell me what you'd like to see me make next. Thank you.